Hey there guys, Saif here and today I'm going to show you how you can sell a WordPress plugin or WordPress theme using WooCommerce and AppSero integration. So first of all I have to make sure I have the variable product ready. In this case I'm going to sell subscription based products. For example, I will be selling the theme or plugin for one year and I have quite a few variations the free uh, pro version and the ultimate version so for this I'm going to make use of the WooCommerce subscription plugin if you have the WooCommerce subscription plugin you have this simple and variable subscription options at your uh, product data section so let's just go ahead and uh, add the plugin this is a demo plugin for app zero Sell. and I'm going to add the variations here and it is a variable subscription I have to uh, add the product attributes I have two variations for this particular plugin for example pro and ultimate and I will be adding these values here also and I have to check this used for variation check mark and I am going to click save attributes after that I have these variations mapped out so I can go and create variations from all attributes I'm going to click ok and two variations have been added the pro one and the ultimate one and I, I will click enable and virtual to make sure it works absolutely okay with AppZero and the subscription price will be for the pro plugin is uh, $9 every year and expires after one year and uh, you can add uh, the uh, basic plugin file here but if you don't add no problem apps you can do that from app store as well which i was showing you guys and i have to add the ultimate versions price as well and i'm going to sell the ultimate at $19 every year and it will also expire after one year and I will click downloadable and virtual to make sure it works absolutely okay again you can add the downloadable files here but if you don't no problem AppZero will do that from the AppZero uh, SAS so I'm going to click save changes and I'm going to publish the product let's go ahead and check out the plugin as you can see I have the pro and ultimate the pro one $9 per year and ultimate $19 for year so my uh, WooCommerce product that I'll be selling is ready and I'll go ahead and go to AppZero for configuring this product I'm going to log in using my app server credentials and I will go ahead and click at plugin yes my plugin involves licensing and it's a premium plugin so I'm going to click yes the plugin name which you will be uh, your plugin name so as my plugin name here is demo plugin for app zero cell I'm just going to copy it the plugin version as this is the initial version I'm click, uh, giving 1.0 request PHP version 7.0 WordPress version 5.5 tested up to 5.0 you can add the home page URL demo URL and description and the icon so let's quickly add an icon the recommended size is a square size and if I uh, 
Okay, no problem. You can add that also later. If I want to manage the plugin through AppSero, yes, I want to manage the licensing for AppSero and WooCommerce, yes. So if you are, if this is uh, asking if I currently manage, uh, already managing my licenses with any other platform like WooCommerce and API Manager, WooCommerce account, since I, I'm not using any of them, so I'm going to click I don't use any of them. Now I'm going to click I will with first I will with WooCommerce to sell. Asking whether I want to use AppSero licensing going forward since I'll be using uh, the AppSero licensing only and I'm not using any external license generator. I'm going to please click use AppSero. So now AppSero is asking me to select my website. So uh, if you don't uh, have already a website, you will get this screen. So it's asking you to install AppSero helper on your website. Absolute Helper is a nice little plugin that works with your WordPress website. So uh, go to the website from you from where you want to sell your plugin. I am selling a night plugin from this uh, website. So I'm going to add the Absolute Helper plugin here. Let's install Absolute Helper. Yes. AppSero helper plugin. Uh, we have successfully installed the plugin. So I can click I have installed the plugin. So AppSero is giving me an API key to use. I'll go ahead and go to AppSero helper. Here at AppSero helper, I'm going to paste the API key which AppSero generated for me and click connect. And AppSero will show that I have connected the website with AppSero successfully. Then I'm going to click verify API key and it will show that I have the uh, I have made a successful connection with the website. On the next page, uh, AppSero will offer you the websites where you want to sell this plugin. For this case, I'm going to select qtest.appso.com which we have just connected using the API key and I will select the product, WooCommerce product that I want to map with this AppSero. So my plugin is demo plugin for AppSero cell and I'm going to click next. That's the main part done and now it's going to ask me for integrating the AppSero SDK. We have another video which I have the links below in the description section to know how you can uh, integrate the AppSero SDK with this code and you can follow that video for successfully connecting the plugin with AppSero SDK. So AppSero SDK helps you to generate the analytics that you see here. These uh, analytics that you see here comes from the SDK that uh, AppSero SDK we have the video to integrate to. Now just do a last check when you uh, go to settings and pricing you have uh, uh, the variations here so it's automatic it's usually automatically created for you so this plugin has uh, two variations uh, pro and ultimate the pro version uh, is nine dollar and the ultimate version is nineteen dollar and the recurring period is one year again this is usually filled up for you when you are doing the onboarding but sometimes it's uh, you have to uh, do a quick check and you can verify how many licenses can one uh, activate with these licenses for pro i'm selecting one and for active uh, for uh, ultimate i'm selecting five and i have uh, selected the price as per the woocommerce one so you gotta match the price like the woocommerce one so 
that's it and when you update your process is complete